everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a fun 4th of July makeup look. I haven't done a 4th of July makeup look in like, since I first started my channel, so probably like two or three years ago. Um, I am actually gonna be posting this on 4th of July, so I don't know how many people are actually gonna do this makeup look since it is gonna be like up the morning of 4th of July. I don't know. But I thought it would just be fun to kind of play around with makeup. And I also have these little like star glitters that I wanted to use. Wow, like fingers like tweaked out there. So yeah, let's get into it. First, just wanna start out by saying that most of you probably know, but my micro, my eyebrows are microbladed. And so I, they are healing right now. So I'm not gonna be touching them or my forehead just because I don't wanna get makeup around them. Um, that was the thing that I screwed up with last time that I got them done was I started putting makeup all around my forehead when like a week after I got them done. So that was a mistake and they didn't heal very well. So I'm like really trying to keep things away from them. So if you're wondering why I don't put makeup on my forehead, that is why. And also for the eyes today, I'm gonna try to keep things pretty low. I don't wanna touch the area around my brows. So I'm first going in with the Too Faced, the new Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer and this is in the shade snow i have used this concealer a couple times and i really really like it it's actually pretty similar to their current um what's it called like natural concealer is that also called born this way i just woke up so my brain's like not fully functioning but i really like it it's pretty full it's not full coverage but it's like pretty good coverage I'm just going to very carefully cover this little zit. I don't want to get concealer too close to my brows. Okay, and then I'm going to take the Becca Cosmetics Be The Light palette. This is um, in light to medium. And I'm just going to take this setting powder right here. With this like dual-ended hourglass brush, I'm going to use this small side to set my eyelids. All right, and then I'm going to curl my lashes just really quick. Okay, and then for eyeshadow, I'm going in with the Milani Gilded Desires. It's actually really, really pretty, and I swatched a few of the colors. And they look super intense. So I'm not gonna go super extravagant with this eye look. I just kinda wanna focus it on the glitter, and I'm also doing a really bright red lip. So I'm first gonna go in with this light brown color, and with this crease brush from Violet Voss, we're going to buff that into the crease. This is gonna be like the main transition color. And then I'm gonna take this darker brown with that same brush and I'm just gonna work that on the outer part of the crease. Okay, now I'm gonna take some of that concealer on the back of my hand and a little concealer brush. This one is from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics and I'm gonna carve out a like half cut crease. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna take this like pinky champagne color. I just really wanna use it because it's so pretty. I'm gonna take that on my finger first and put that on top of the concealer. Then taking a little flat shader brush, I'm just going to hit the edges of that. And taking some of that dark brown again, I'm just going to blend that into the glitter eyeliner or glitter eyeshadow. Okay, then taking this bright white color, I'm just going to highlight my inner corners. And then I'm going to do kind of a small ish winged eyeliner with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. Right, that turned out to be big. Never mind. All right, and then I'm going to coat my lashes with the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Okay, and now for the glitter. This is 
the Charisma Beauty Superstar Chunky Glitter, which like, it's just perfect for 4th of July. It's like gold and silver stars. I'm trying to decide if I want to put some stars like on the cut crease part or, so I feel like if I put stars on my lid and I like look up regularly, they're gonna shrink and you won't be able to see them. So I'm gonna take some of this Tarte Tardis Pro eyelash glue and I think I'm gonna do it on the outer edges just because I want to do it on my crease, but I feel like that's just not going to work. Hmm, I don't really know how to feel about that. I think there's just too many. I don't know, guys. I don't know how to feel about that. I just don't know. Okay, so I went ahead and added some lashes. These are the Iris Beauty Lashes in Athena. I still don't know how to feel about the stars. I'm just gonna keep them on one eye for now, and if I wanna add more to the other eye after, I will. But I do think that I'm gonna take some liquid eyeshadow just to like amp this look up a little bit. I'm taking the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Katsu Eyeshadow, and this is in Pure Intention. I'm just gonna layer that right over that pink eyeshadow. All right, now for the face, I'm gonna take the Too Faced Hangover Primer, just putting that on the bottom half of my face. All right, and then I'm gonna take the Born This Way Concealer, but this is in the shade Porcelain, and I'm gonna focus that underneath my eyes, and I'm gonna kinda use this as like a base for my face. Also, the porcelain shade seems a bit dark to like actually be a true porcelain color. I don't know. I'm just gonna take the remaining of that concealer and put it just on the outer part of my forehead, nowhere near my brows. And then taking the color Snow, I'm gonna use this to highlight. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this Becca palette again and set my face with this powder. All right, and then I'm gonna be taking the bronzer in that palette with the fluffier side of this hourglass brush. Okay, and then taking that blush from this palette, the same brush. This brush is just very versatile and I just really like it because it's really soft. Okay, now for highlight, I'm taking the ColourPop Pressed Powder Highlight and this is in the shade Si Vous Play. And to finish off the eyes, I'm just gonna take that transition color that we used before and just put that right on my lower lash line. And then to waterline, I'm gonna take this Urban Decay 24-7 pencil and this is in the shade LSD. And then to finish off the look, I'm taking this bright red liquid lipstick and this is from Nabla Cosmetics, and it's in the shade Acrylic Love. Okay, I cannot believe I just did that without having to carve out my lips at all. Okay, everyone, that is it for this makeup tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and I have, I hope you all have a wonderful 4th of July. If you celebrate it, be safe, 
make smart choices. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.